Well, the first thing I do is uh, I get the water kind of running because it's been in the hose and sitting in the sun, so it's a little warm. And I don't want to scald the plants. And then basically just uh, try to provide a good amount of water in each plant. Now, rainwater is by far the best, but this will keep the plants basically alive. You want to make sure you get a good amount of saturation there. And in a short period of time, I can basically get everything watered far quicker than I could regular. Yeah, Banks, you're going to want to move from there. I was giving everything a good, healthy watering. So much easier with the hose. All right. I'm not spraying you. We did add some fertilizer to the garden. We won't go any further on that. <laughs> so literally in about 10 minutes, I can have the whole, every plant well watered. which used to take me considerably longer when I had to carry the buckets. But it gave me time to talk about things. Which I'll cover on my live stream and then probably on a separate video too. Because let's kind of get ready to rumble. Only because I'm on rumble. And my honeymoon with Instagram may be over. We'll see. We'll talk about that too. Uh, water the cucumbers. I'm already looking like got three that are right over there ready to plant. Or not plant, pick is the word I was trying to use. So I'm just giving a good healthy watering. Because it doesn't look like there's going to be any rain in the forecast for a while. And it might be out here later picking because I got a lot of squash. And I just take them to work or the restaurant and whatever and so they don't go to waste. As heavily as I watered these yesterday, only a few of them are actually showing any Residual watering. It's like if I didn't know it, you wouldn't know I had watered it. So those ones that may not have hit longer, the ones that showed it, I hit long enough. And the other ones I probably got towards the end and I said, oh, that's enough. And away we went. So you can see how the squash, remember how much room used to be in between them? You know, same here, starting to grow across. That's going to by the end of the month, it's going to be into the tomatoes and peppers easily. One thing I did discover is, neighbor tells me chickens like squash. So I'll have some chicken feed for them. You'd be amazed what chickens will eat. They'll eat just about anything, including eggs. So, now that I'm getting all this done, I will get ready for my live stream. Hope to see you all there. I'll try to upload this first. Remember, get out in the sun. Beautiful out here. 